I ain't never made an album like in about a month and a half. Like, mm -hmm. I always take a long time. But, mm -hmm. but I was like, man, I just seen, I think after being still in the, in the when, when the pandemic first hit and just kind of just getting a chance to reflect on life and where I am, who I am, what I want, having some time to read, just be still. I wasn't trying to write and do nothing at that point. But then eventually as I started getting into the creative like energy, I was like, man, I just was feeling it. So we out. cooked up a, 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 man, I got a piece, man. I can't yeah. wait to, it's, it's out on the 30th, so check, check it. Check it out. I mean, Jack, you just dropped your, your yeah. piece in, in same energy. You know, that was one thing Jack said, that he, he felt like he's learned so much in this last six to eight months than, he, than he's yeah. ever learned. You know what I mean? And, and he took it out and put it out in his music as well. So I'm sure as an artist to be able to put your feelings out on the paper and then share them with the world is always a blessing. You've all, you always been able to do that, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think as a culture, we expect that from you. We, we expect that music that's going to take us there. Yeah. That, that's going to make us feel what's going on think in about today's. It. Yeah, it's going to take us there. We expect yeah. that from you. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I, man, what's going on is like exactly like that's what I'm on, like meaning I'll be wanting that that music that feel like Marvin Gaye or Bob Marley or Stevie Wonder or KRS One. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, I also feel like it's a duty when you do music that's conscious or, or like aware, it still gotta be dope. Like, like that's the, the the music that I love listening to and grew up. It, it ain't only just conscious music, but when it is conscious music, it's dope. It still it's has really to be like, like, dope. It everything still has that dope. It gotta be dope, and you gotta style on the it and feeling, get them. Yeah. But I, but the stack, you know, probably when you get more information, like you like you said, you had something to say on on this project because you know, I mean. You you rhyme, so you like man. I probably you probably like yo. I experienced all this different stuff. It was easier this time because I was in the middle of it. Like I I was, I was this was my real pain. I wasn't just rapping for the hell of it. Like right. what I was saying this time was stuff that I really been through that I really seen. Yeah. That I, that I really want to say because I can't get it out no other way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this was totally different than anything I've ever dropped. Man, but that's yo. When I I ain't even know that rap would be that for me, but that's what it, it has been like. Certain things you can't get out like in no other way, but just as an artist, especially when you do have an outlet or you discover that this is man something I do. This is what I want to do, and it's always been like been like that for me. So if I see other people's pain or I'm experiencing my pain, I always been like I'm gonna speak to it. But I all but my my goal is to speak to it and and, and put a charge to it, like get them uplifted and get them out of the darkness. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna speak on the darkness if it's there. Mm -hmm. But it's like man. I like giving solutions too, cause I ain't gonna just say, man, we, we in the hole, and not be like, yo, let me try to help you get out of this hole. If I can, you know, I'm gonna tell you how I got out of this hole. Hopefully, right. it can help you. Well, that's what most people realize too. Whether yeah. you, you're, you're putting in your music or, or or you're acting or just speaking out it publicly, most of the time we don't, you know, it's not. We know that us sharing our ups and downs, or mostly our downs, are gonna inspire someone else. But when you're able to encourage millions upon millions of people just by being real and, and, and spilling, spilling your truth, that's where the real reward comes from. Yeah, yeah, nah, I, I, you know, I was like, like early on in my career, I, I was writing a song, I was writing a song about abortion. And this was like early on, and I was like, some shit I had been through with, with the girl I was with. And I just wrote it, cause it was like, I was reading these different poems, poetry, and I was like, man, they be saying whatever they feel. So I was kind of like, I'm just gonna go there with it. I'm gonna actually just tell this story. And I did, and I and I put the record, I was a record that Lauryn Hill actually sang on, and we, you know, the record came out, we just shot a video and everything. And I remember performing in a concert, and then this dude came up to me afterwards and was like, yo, man, that, that record, man, it's called Retrospect for Life. He was like, that record, Man made me decide to have my child because I was going through the same things and this and that, and I and it kind of, I was like, yo, I was just telling my story. Right. I didn't know that this exactly. this thing could really mm -hmm. like shift people's lives like that. Yes. That, that that was a um, one of them moments where you like, dang, okay, this is really meaningful, and I could do something with this.